Interesting. Um, they, but I I do believe there's a lot that we don't know about the low tiers that yeah. could make them stronger. We just we won't know until you know people get better at the game and explore a little bit. It's true. I, I mean I, I think you know when you really look at the really top players, um, a lot of times the low tiers. You know, they just the, the top players just really know how to abuse their weaknesses to the point where they might seem like there's nothing to do, but you know, everyone can always get better. There's always room for improvement. Uh, and so this will be an interesting matchup here. We have Jimmy Joe. Uh, Cheers to staying Luigi. Oof. That's a rough. Uh, Jimmy Joe hopefully keeps his cool, but Jimmy Joe also a Luigi player. He dabbles quite often with him, so he's familiar with this. Uh, also a very patient player, willing to wait it out. Uh, very good spacing. Nice Ooh. pivot. Uh, up smash. Up smash right there. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, despite that SD, it's even. So that says a lot about what Jimmy Joe was doing that first stock. Because he, he started off pretty strong. He racked up uh, kill percentage on Luigi without really taking a lot of damage. But the uh -huh. SD. Wow, oh, great forward stock. smash there. Yeah, not uh, you know not giving Shears too much respect. See, and now Kaz is a fairly new player, right? He started up when Fire Blaster started his Connecticut scene a year and a half, maybe two years ago. Mm -hmm. Jimmy Joe. The opposite. Yeah, he's, a he's very, been around forever. Very experienced, very familiar player. And while he does not hold the prestige he once did as a you know very high level player, he's not going to get caught off guard by this stuff. No, no. And he, he knows his matchups. I mean, you know, he's been around long enough to uh, to know how these things work. Um, so I'm not I'm not surprised to see this uh, go pretty differently. Um, and right. right now he's he's had a fairly comfortable lead. Uh, really using those up tilts nice. well. Um, you know. Luigi doesn't have any aerial that would be an up tilt. I don't think he knows um, the the ch you know what chains into what. You right. Know, speak of the, all the weak hit boxes he can use Ooh. to get a combo on Luigi. Because uh -huh. Luigi, you know, is too floaty for a lot of the strong hit combos. You really right. have to mix your game up a bit to. But you can combo Luigi pretty well. With people. Uh -huh. Just uh, you know that old school knowledge that that Jimmy Joe has, and I think he's playing. Pretty well today. I think know, so. Yeah. I mean, um, ooh, that should be the stock right there. Um, yeah, he took down Preston. Um, yeah. Heard he played pretty well against Kiro. I didn't see yeah, that. Yeah. So one. he actually it was Picadito. He was coming back at the end. Um, right. Yeah. See, it's really those up tilts are, are kind of nasty, but um, yeah, it's just that too. guy we see lose to like Oof. newer people and you know people that we thought weren't at his level. And we think, oh, maybe he doesn't have it anymore. And then just every once in a while, he's yeah. just like, you know, it's old school Jimmy Joe. It's true. And, you know, I think the fact that a character like Luigi, I think, is the one that Jimmy Joe is particularly strong against. Just because a lot of times Jimmy Joe falters when he's dealing with people who put on a ton of pressure and, like, are really tech heavy, since he's right. not a very tech heavy player himself. But these spacing battles is really where he shines. And, uh, yeah, that'll be a, a nice win. Very uh, interested to see what happens if Cheers goes Yoshi. Yeah, do you think there'll be a switch? I, I do. I do. Um, well, maybe he could prove me wrong. Uh, I, the, the Luigi did not seem like it was working. Okay, yeah, here we go. go. Yeah. And I think this is more what Shears wants. Uh, you know, Shears Yoshi is definitely good, puts on good pressure. You know, he's, he's able to, to follow up. He's, um, he's very strong at this matchup. I believe yeah. this and probably Falcon are his best matchups with Yoshi. Um, he with with Pika, he knows what what moves to wall him out with, uh -huh. especially on the ground. Um, he can just space himself well to up tilt or up smash any Ooh. fall through approaches from Pika. Makes it very hard to get in. Um, Falcon, he's more in on the punish game, I think. Uh -huh. But his his punish game against Pika is usually pretty strong. I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> Jimmy Joe able to stay on the stage there. I don't know if that was his DI or what. It didn't seem like. Yeah, he's probably fishing for that up smash. There we go. Um, Shears always seems pretty hesitant to use the down B. I guess perhaps <laughs> there he knew that it wasn't necessary. Ooh, but that's a that's a tough break. Um, yeah, that's not not the best way to avoid uh, invincibility as you yeah. can't use up your double jump like that unless you're it, that it's as you're going through. Oh, let's see what you can do here. Um, <laughs> it's up pairing that grab, yeah. Nice right. up B escape. Yeah, it's, Yoshi doesn't have a lot of options to really chase that. No, you know, no. Some characters you can follow follow that up. Yeah, that was a, that was an unsafe dash attack. Um. All right, I, I felt like Shears had 
Jimmy Joe right where he wanted him, but didn't get anything off of the, the side plat lane. Yeah, you know, you know it's, it's tough. I think when you, you switch a character from one that is much more spacey to one that you would need to be more aggressive, uh, sometimes it's a tough transition. You really have to remember that when you're in and you're putting on the pressure, you know, you gotta, you gotta make sure you got your tech all right. And I think if you hesitate a bit, the punish game uh, does suffer here. See, that's an yeah. opportunity to down B, down I think. B, yeah, or even up smash through the platform uh, could work as well. Jimmy Joe showing some serious expertise in this matchup uh, as well. Good stock there. Still close though, I mean, you know, we all know of Yoshi's pow power to uh, clean up stocks quickly. Yeah. I, I like Ooh, what Jimmy Joe's so doing to edge guard Yoshi. Um, yeah, when he, Yoshi goes close to the stage, he re-grabs. Yeah. When he uh, is far away, he hits him with the forward air with just the right amount of spacing to get that up tilt. Yeah, it's uh, you know it lasts for so long that the stunt, the armor is basically over. Ooh, that's a good uh, yeah, up smash. Just barely trade. missed the forward air on that combo. I'd like probably I probably credit Jimmy Joe's DI, uh -huh. but he still got the up smash out of it, so it wasn't too devastating. Good jab grab. Shears is getting locked down by these forward airs. He really is, yeah. Um, it's Yo one of Yoshi's weaknesses, you know, multi-hit attacks, but yeah. he should have some sort of answer to, you know, the, the, it's not a great hit box. You know? No, it's not. I, I, and Jimmy Joe's doing a good job. You know, if, if Pikachu's facing forward, you, there's really two main options. You can space out up airs. Yeah, or you can run in and forward air. Uh, and that's, that's and the, that's the set. Yeah. Wow, yeah, so that's a pretty, I, I pretty think solid it, upset. Yeah, I think that he's definitely seated below Shears, right?